Okay, here we are back in Fairy Fencer F, and you may notice we're on the main menu. That's because I want to take a second to talk about some DLC. So I'm going to open this list, and the hidden characters in the game will have their names visible here, so if you don't want to know who they are or anything like that, skip ahead a little bit. But if you want my thoughts on the DLC, then stick around for a minute and you will find out. So the first thing are your hot spring sets, and there's one for each of your party members that you actually fight with. So you get one for Ethel, your lolly assassin, you may remember her from the Bowie Plains, she does join the party. Fang, Galdo, Harley, Pippin, Lola, the merchant girl, will join you if you complete her side quest. Sherman, Tiara, and Apollonius, with Apollonius being somewhat conditional. So this entire DLC set is 99 cents, one dollar. If you want to get costumes, this is probably your single best deal. It's just, do you want your guys running around with nothing but towels? That's entirely up to you. As for the swimwear set, you'll notice there are actually only five here, and it's 99 cents for these five. So you get for one for Apollonius, Fang, Galdo, Pippin, Sherman. Now there is no swimsuit for Lola, as far as I know, but the other female characters, Harley, Tiara, and Ethel, do have swimsuits already in the game that you can unlock. As for the ultimate armor pack, you get a ring, and then a female armor, male armor. As far as I know, these actually are the single best what piece of armor you can get in the game. They are somewhat game-breaking, so if you want to eliminate any challenge at all, this is your ticket. And by any challenge, there is one exception I'll be talking about in a second. Weapon change accessory, from what I understand about these, like everything else, they're 99 cents for the whole bundle. These just are like little trinkets you can tack onto your weapons to... I don't know. So if you're tired of looking at the weapons as is, this is your thing. Sadly, the preview pictures on Steam are absolutely worthless for this, so you can't see what they actually do. But you get a couple different things that you can slap on, and it's just... Do you want to enhance your weapons at the cost of a dollar? That's up to you. As for the beginner pack, this is something you get, and the thing I was actually looking for isn't actually here, sadly. So there is a set of DLC fairies you can get. They're all S rank. You cannot use them for godly revival or world shaping in any way, shape, or form. Instead, they all have something special about them. Usually they're optimized for a character. There's one that just turns Ethel into a magic tank. Well, not... I don't mean like tank as in she can take a lot of damage, but just this walking bomb. Then there are some that help you with grinding. There's one with learning, one with Goss' blessing innately in it. If you want to speed up the whole grinding process, that's for you. Now, the other thing that actually comes with the game is the alternate routes of Shukesu's Tower. And for this, what that means is once you clear the tower, you can go through it again with everything much, much stronger. And so much so that at max level, you can't get past the single digit floors out of the 40 floors. So if you're wondering how are you supposed to get around this, this being the free DLC, there's actually another paid set of DLC for you. This will boost the level cap, so it goes from 99 to all the way up to something like 999, depending on how many of these you buy. And these are necessary to work your way to the top of the alternate tower. The whole reason why you'd want to do that is purely for bragging rights, because there's nothing left by the time you clear it the first time. And, yeah, so those are m my thoughts on the DLC. To summarize, the alternate Shukesu Tower thing is absolutely worthless unless you're going to buy the thing to boost your level even higher. And in order to do so, you probably want the DLC fairies or something just to speed up the grind. It's one of the shortcomings of the game, I guess, but if you want to get some d piece of DLC, the single best deal is the Hot Spring set. It is cosmetic. If you want to eliminate any challenge, then just go ultimate armor. Sadly, you only get one of each of these. But that's more than enough to get you through. Anyway, let's pick up where we left off. We had Pippin join the party, and we need to move a little bit forward with the storyline. So we have to go to the inn. 
So, this is Pippin and Soji. Starting today, these guys are coming with us, so you all better get along. For sure! Nice to meet you, pretty boy. And, uh, this weird-looking cat is your fairy, eh? <laughs> I hope we get along, too! Hmm, nice to meet you. You're a rather odd fairy. How fascinating. That sword impaled through your head is especially alluring. Pleased to meet you all. My name is Soji. However, I'm not a fencer. I'm the fencer. Huh? That's impossible! Uh, I see. That was, uh, unexpected. So, if you're actually the fairy, then what in the world is this creature? That's Pippin. You youngsters haven't had enough training. As fencers, you must learn how to see the person in front of you for who he truly is. Back in my younger days, the competition to collect the fairies was wrought with confusion. Wicked fencers weren't our only enemy. We also had to contend with warlords, wizards, phantom beasts, and mysterious monsters. Fencers' only tools are their skills, their wits, and a heart that stirs with justice. Well, you see, fencers are... Bibbon's story is about to get rather long. Shall I brew you some tea? Yeah, that'd be nice right about now. And luckily we Well, just youngsters, skip it. what did you think? Don't be shy now. Ho 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 ho! They're all asleep. What's wrong with him? He won't <laughs> stop talking. <sighs> oh, uh, he's done? I beg of you, goddess. Please grant my wish. For my sake. No. For the sake of everyone in the world. So, sadly, they cut Pippin's story a little short there. I want this world to be filled with smiles and laughter. And there we had a little bit of random monologue from Tiara. Eh. Come, everyone. Let us do our best today as we search for the Furies. Yeah. Do your best, Tiara. You need to do your best too, idiot! Ah, uh, there you are! Hey, Lola. It's rare to see your face around these parts. I found some great info today. And since you're such loyal customers, I thought I'd give you guys first dibs. Really? You're such a generous kid. I know, right? Now give me my money. She'd be a sweet kid if she wasn't so greedy. So... What's the information this time? Did you find another fury? Yep. And if you want to know where it is, then give me my money. It'll cost you this much. Wow. Mm, expensive as usual. I wonder what happens if you don't have the money. You know why I love you guys? Because even when you say my prices are expensive, you still end up paying them. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So, where's the fury? My sources say they found a fury at the subterranean tower. Apparently, there are a lot of powerful monsters prowling around that place. So make sure you earn lots of spending money. The subterranean tower. Sounds familiar, eh? Is something wrong, Aaron? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Let's get going. Huh? Where's Lord Truman? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen him today. Did he go somewhere? Eh, who cares about that guy? Let's just hurry up and find that fury. Uh, wait! Hold on! Jeez, he never listens. He has not changed at all. So, Sherman is out of the party for a little while. What in the world is Pippin exactly? Why are you asking that now? a body pillow. Oh, hold on a second. What does a body pillow have to do with anything? And I wonder if they're talking about a donkey Makura or something like that. I'm just curious on what the Japanese equivalent there would have been. Ah, uh, sorry. I saw a body pillow that looks exactly like Pippin for sale at the general store. After seeing that, I started thinking about how strange Pippin's existence is. You always overthink the details. Pippin is Pippin is Pippin. Huh. Looks like his fairy partner arrived just in time. Hey, Soji. Can I help you with something? Tell me how you and Pippin met. I'm sure it'll clear up some things. It'll clear some things up once we know how you two met. Oh my, that 
That is a great idea. I'm surprised you thought of it. All my ideas are great ideas. Soji, you can be honest with me. It was delivered to you in the mail, right? Maybe the Fury was inside the package. Have you two already forgotten that I'm the Fury? What are you all discussing? Oh, Pippin. Fang and Tiara were asking how we first met. Ah, allow me to tell that old story. I was a younger man back then. I was known as Pippin, the Azure Gale. The Azure Gale? That doesn't sound like you at all. I lived the life of a carefree hooligan. Until one day, when I met a certain village, when I visited a certain village, I met this beautiful lady. Hey, Tiara, origin stories always take a long time to tell, you know? I'm gonna take off the first chance I get. <laughs> we know how the story ends. There's no way I'm letting you leave me alone with them. You will stay until the story is finished. So I pulled out the fury, and that's how I met Soji. It's over already? Damn, that was fast. That was unexpected. I assumed the introduction would take at least an hour. This just makes things even more mysterious. Hey, don't tell us the abridged version. Give us some more details. Every human has their secrets, my boy. You can't say that. There's literally nothing human about you. So, we have more scenes. If you want to talk to them, I don't. Meanwhile, the diner, we have a scene here. Hey, here's your soy sauce. Hey, here's your tissue box. That's amazing here. You and Fang have perfect synergy. You seem to understand him really well. It's not quite like that, I just sort of know somehow. That's what it means to have synergy. I've always suspected that there might be a bond between fencers and fairies that other people don't share. Hey, what's wrong? You've been awfully quiet for a while, and it's making your face uglier than usual. How rude. And yet it feels so good. Man, I don't understand your kinks at all. You don't need to understand. We're just other people to each other. Everyone's a stranger to someone. Just because we're strangers doesn't mean we shouldn't get to know each other better. We just need to spend more time together. Spend more time together? It seems obvious that the more time we spend together, the better we'll understand each other. You are right. It makes sense that Aaron knows you better than I do since she's been with you much longer. What does Aaron have to do with anything? Never mind. Really? Then it's settled. You know, when you make a gloomy face and hold it for that long, even I start to feel down. For that long? Have you been staring at me this whole time? I just happened to notice it this time. Why did you just pause? Why did you pause just now? Anyway, if you still feel a little depressed about things that don't matter, just eat something tasty. That'll do the trick. Got it? That sounds like advice you would give. You are right. If I spend more time with you, I'm sure that I'll eventually grow closer to you. And for our tower... I forgot what oh, it's all the way over there. So, let's grab this one. Let's trigger the scenes. This is a subterranean tower, eh? <laughs> this place looks like a heck of a challenge. I can't wait to show off my skills. Damn right! This will be a breeze! Even without that tool Sherman helping us. I wonder how long this enthusiasm will last. Oh my! Is something the matter, Aaron? You have a dazed look on your face. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, we need to get going too! Things really fired up right now! Okay, so the hidden treasure is close. It's on the other side of this wall, I think. There's the opening. Oh. 
Okay, so let me show you something about this place. It's a big circle. So if you want to get the hidden treasure chest, you have to go around the loop. I don't. So let's turn around and leave. And I thought there was a Lola event here. Okay, so I verified that this is one of those rare instances in the game where there actually is no Lola event. So that means there's no Fury for us to pick up, but we can still move over the rest of our swords so we get the maximum effect as we explore. because the corridors are narrower while well, they get extremely narrow. Like this guy, trying not to fight him, I think I'm kind of forced into fighting him. Yes! Skinny! Force ring. So now the hard part is getting out of the which actually wasn't that bad this time. where things get dicey. So if you want to see the floor, this is just one big circle. And we have to get past this fish monster in order to progress. Luckily it was stationary. This one is looking to not be the same. Just barely. So if you notice the sonar is grayed out, that means we don't have to worry about... Oh, that's this one. Don't, no, ignore me, ignore me, I'm invisible. Uh, there was no treasure chest for us to worry about, but here, it's quite a different story. Finders keepers! More jump. Lightning stone, that's a little fortunate. Now let's trigger the event. Hey, Aaron? Huh? Huh? Oh, what? Don't let your guard down. We've still got a long way to go. Know that. Do you remember anything new? I'm not sure, but something just feels really off. It's hard to explain, but it feels sort of nostalgic. It kind of makes me nervous, though. Overall, it's just a weird feeling. So there might be a clue to Aaron's memories in this tower, huh? I see. That sounds really interesting. I heard that this place was built centuries ago by a wise and ancient civilization. A wise and ancient civilization? Yeah. It's theorized that this civilization received their wisdom directly from the goddess, which is why they worshipped her. Your past may be connected to that somehow. Do you really think so? That's just another reason for us to get through this place quickly. Come on, let's go. Mm. And 
I've done that, now we're back to exploring. Where I can hopefully continue to evade these fights. Now, as for this one... Yeah, it's a big circle. Each corner is going to be a little tricky. We're going to go to the right. And I'm not gonna lie, that bird enemy is the one that concerns me most out of all the monsters here. Cherub feathers, those are used for revival. And now we have to go around the whole floor. Okay, this could be a tad dicey. I... Can I slip around this way? not playing to fight that, but it appears the way forward is actually back there. So you have to get past the flying fish once again. And we just barely made it that time. It's kind of hoping you could have just jumped out the ledge, but I guess not. As for this place... No... Sonar, so no hidden treasure chest for us to worry about. Man. Okay, so far so good. And I guess he wanted to read Take my leave. Mithril stone, I forgot what you, I think you can use that to craft armor. It's not quite like the element stones that I tell you guard with your life. This one you can be a little bit more cavalier. Bad news is there's two enemies right here. Finders keepers. Earthstone. That's good. So right over there is our event, but I need to make sure I'm not passing any chests. Okay, it looks like we're clear, uh, we're clear to face the boss. So if I remember correctly, this is a trap. Oh! I found the treasure! There's no mistaking it, that's the fury! That was easier than I had anticipated. There wasn't even a boss monster. Curse of Bernard. No, there's something else here instead. Hey, why don't you come out of your hiding place and show yourself? And I see. There he is. So you did notice me. Very perceptive. Well, duh. It was obvious from the menacing vibe filling this place. It seems you really are the ones who defeated two of our four heavenly czars. Four heavenly czars? What does that mean? He was sent by Dorfa. 
This again? So, what, are you one of the last four Heavenly Czars? No, but I am here on behalf of the Dorfa Corporation. Now hand over your Furies. I knew it! You were after our Furies all along! Why is Dorfa collecting the Furies in the first place? There's no reason to explain that to you fools. <laughs> it seems pretty obvious. After you guys collect the Furies, you're gonna use your one wish for world domination or something. Close enough. World domination? Are they planning to revive the Vile God? That has to be it. The Furies contained the Goddess's power, which was used to seal away the Vile God ages ago. It stands to reason that you could also use that power to break the seal containing the Vile God. If Dorfa obtains the power of the Vile God, it will be easy for them to bend the world to their will. The Furies! The Goddess's power! Vile God's revival! Show me your power. The power that defeated not one but two of the four heavenly czars. Fang! You have to defeat this guy! That's right. I cannot allow this man to carry out his wicked scheme. I don't really care what happens to the world. But if you're reaching for a fight, I'll gladly accept your challenge. Such a fearless fool. It's time you learn that some heights can never be overcome. Sanguina, prepare for battle! Suppress and annihilate the enemy! Understood, Master. Suppress. Annihilate. And now that I think about it, I don't know if we ever see his fairy again at this point. Show me what you got! Let's do this! And it doesn't look a lot like Zank to anyone else. My turn! <laughs> so, I... Damn it. This guy is nothing like the other ones I fought. Is that the best you can do? It looks like this will be an easy job. Tell me, would you prefer to give me your furies before I kill you? Or shall I rip them from your cold, dead hands? You'll live longer if you give them to me. Though it will only be for a few seconds. <laughs> never! I will never surrender the Furies to someone who wants to revive the vile god! I'm... We're collecting the Furies to revive the goddess! Or the goddess. I... I... Screw both your choices! Who the hell will give their Furies to someone like you? Very well. I'll just take everything from them. Starting with your life. New data? So I said I was one to grind, but... Fire! I Let's think we can get this. through here without it. The thing is, I do need to land my hits in order to actually, um, fair eyes. My turn. Ah, he's not weak to play. He actually is. I was hoping Harley could knock him down, but holy crap, that hit hard. Not yet. Today with this final blow! Bring it on! Fang! No! Huh? Er I remember! What? What do you mean? I'm... What? What is this? What in the world is this power? stay at. How did we get here? What happened to us? I think the goddess's power activated. 
The goddess's power? That's impossible! I mean, how? And you're the one who used it, right, Aaron? Aaron, you... Aaron used it? How? Fang, Tiara, I'm sorry I made you worry. I remembered a little bit more about myself. Are you serious? But how were you able to do something like that? Because she inherited the goddess's power. Right, Aaron? <sighs> That's a lie. You're lying, right? I don't fully understand it myself. But somehow I can feel it. It's very hazy. But I feel like I once fought against a powerful darkness. That must be a memory of the battle that the goddess and the vile god waged long ago. Then... You're seriously... Yeah, my assumption was correct. She's not just a regular fairy. She's the physical incarnation of the goddess. Uh. <gasps> she hasn't regained all of her memories, so it's hard to think that she has all of the goddess's immense power inside her. But even a portion of that power could have a will of its own. And if so, then it could have manifested itself as Eren. Yeah. That's probably it. We can assume that the subterranean tower has a plausible connection to the goddess in some form. When our backs were against the wall, the part of Eren that was once part of the goddess must have awakened. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Eren's awakened, huh? Not quite yet. If that's the case, let's go back and defeat that bastard for good. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't even know how I used my power earlier. I assume that place is why Aaron's memories felt so much stronger. But her revival as the goddess is far from complete. But, but now I remember the true purpose behind collecting the Furies! As long as we do that... We can fully revive the goddess. And in doing so, all the evil that remains in this world will be washed away. Which means Dorfa's plans for world domination will be crushed too. Then we already know what to do! Let's hurry up and revive the goddess! How do we do that? Now, now, there's no need to rush. Nobody likes an impatient boy. What are you talking about? If Eren has the goddess's memories, then she should know how to revive her, right? Yeah, I do know the revival ritual, and I know where the ritual is supposed to be performed, but... Then let's get going. There's still something missing. The faith drop. The faith drop? Is something wrong, everyone? Where have you been? <laughs> Do you know what we've just been through? What the heck were you doing anyway? Oh, nothing in particular. Sharon's back. So you probably have to ask yourself, where did he go? And let's go ahead and get this going. When did I send out rock? Totally should have sent out scissors. Bahas and Soji should be going grocery shopping, not me. Whose idea was it to do rock, paper, scissors anyway? Please stop! Hmm? No! Let me go! So, the immediate question for you is, does she look familiar? Does she resemble anyone? Stuff like that. Stop complaining, little lady. That's right. Just be quiet and do what we tell you. If you don't, we'll hurt you. You don't want that now, do you? Give it up already. Everyone's just ignoring you. No! Hey, you creep. Get your filthy hands off her. Huh? Who the hell are you? I'm really pissed off. That's who. Thanks to this useless rock. Are you giving a slip, you bastard? Stay out of this! Rock, paper, scissors, go! Ow! Damn it! I'll remember this! Thank you so much. You saved me. And I don't think I, we actually run into those bandits ever again, sadly. I wasn't trying to save you. I was just blowing off some steam. <laughs> At least I finally won with rock. Rock to the face tends to beat everything. You're dressed like you're on a journey. Are you traveling alone? Yes. You gotta protect yourself when you're on your own. If you can't do that, you shouldn't travel by yourself. I'm sorry, but I... Huh? Uh, no. Um... Are you hungry? Yes, um, I don't really know anything about this town. Do you know where I can get something to eat? This place is 
this ramen is so good. Of course. That's why I brought you here. Do you like fish cakes too? And you can see her name is Emily now. Yes, I do. Then you can have mine. Dig in. Thank you very much. Those stupid swirly fish cakes are the only thing I don't like about this place's ramen. Why's that? The swirls make me dizzy. I can't stare at them without feeling like I'm gonna hurl. Believe it! And right there is a jab at nerves, though. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but they taste good. Are you sure you don't want a bite? No, thanks. This taiyaki tastes so good. The crust is crunchy and the red bean paste is so sweet. Yeah, that stuff's my favorite. It always tastes good, but it tastes even better after a bowl of ramen. Are you sure it's okay if you treat me to this? You paid for the ramen, so now we're even. <laughs> What's so funny? You remind me of my big brother. Your big brother? Do I look like him? Oh no, not at all. He's a very serious looking person. What's that supposed to mean? That you have the same blunt attitude as him. Huh, that's so. Bang, I'd like you to have this. An amulet? I made medicine from boiled fairy flowers and poured it in this amulet. So if you want to do a side quest later, you may need to remember that little detail. My brother is a warrior, and I gave that to him just in case he ever got wounded. But he said he didn't need it. You should try giving it to him again. That'd be better than giving that amulet to me. That's impossible. I remind you of your brother, right? Trust me, he'll take it if you keep bugging him about it. He's just being shy is all. No, that's not it. Huh? I can't give this to my brother. He's no longer with me. Huh? He was killed by a fencer. What do you mean? My brother was a fencer who worked for the Dorfa Corporation before he died. Dorfa? Emily, what was your brother's name? Apollonius. <laughs> so, does she still look familiar? Or does she look familiar now? Bang. Thank you for everything. Are you leaving now? Yes. I have to avenge my brother's death. Do you really have to do that? My brother loved the sight of cherry blossoms. We used to view them together every year. He was my only family. My parents died when I was a baby, so he had to raise me himself. He was stern and reserved. But I never once doubted his love for me, so I was still really happy. But now, I can't go and look at the cherry blossoms with him anymore. I hate my brother's killer. I hate him more than I've ever hated anything. And I swear I'll kill him myself one day. Until I've avenged my brother's death, my journey will never end. Emily. Take care of yourself, Fang. Goodbye. <sighs> so we received Emily's amulet. So, Lola, I've been wondering for a while. Why do you work as an informant? I kind of would have liked to put a break right there, but I guess we have to do this scene. That is a good question. It is an odd line of work for one so young. I'm not just an informant, I dabble in a little bit of everything. But to answer your question, it's because I love money. Do you know what sells for the highest price these days? Rare artifacts, illegal goods, and useful information. And she deals in all three. Wow, that's pretty shady. It's not shady at all. I'm very open about how I make my living. Selling information is a good way to make money without getting my hands dirty. And I must admit that an individually owned business has the potential to generate rather large sums of money. Right? And I've always loved eavesdropping on rumors and stuff. My feet know where to find information. My brain knows how to analyze it. And my mouth knows not to reveal my sources to anyone. I meet all the requirements for being Amazing. It is hard to think that she is only a child. You don't have to think of me as a child. I prefer if you think of me as your, if you consider me your business partner. I thought you were just greedy, but I guess I was wrong about you, huh? Now then, since I gave you some information about me, you gotta give me money. Huh? You're charging us? Of course. Didn't I tell you that information was expensive? I take back everything I said. You're pure greed. But since you're such good customers, I'll let it slide just this once. You can just treat me to some tea instead. Fine, fine. 
I should be more careful about asking you questions. I don't want to get billed for your answers. <laughs> it is just as well. At any rate, now seems like a perfect time to enjoy some tea. Then, let's go to that cafe over there. Well, there's one other reason I work as an informant. Hold on, let's go. Okay. And we are putting the break here. So, if nothing else, now you know how an honorable warrior like Apollonius ended up working for Dorla. And when we pick up next time, we'll be moving forward with the storyline or doing side quests so I don't know when the next level event unlocks. But we are quickly approaching the midpoint of the game. When you take the ferry, drop into the desert as the halfway point. So that's probably going to be like two, maybe three videos from now. And I'll give you more details as the time comes. So until then, I'm